All right, let's start 19.2 work together here. We're going to be calculating some depreciation expense. Um, it says that we have Brookdale Banners here um, who bought the following assets during um, 20X1, which really is just, let's just say it's 2011. Um, and Brookdale uses the straight line depreciation method. Um, to calculate the beginning book value, annual depreciation, accumulated depreciation, and ending book value for each asset for each of the useful uh, estimated useful life years. Um, if the asset was not bought at the beginning of the year, make sure we calculate the depreciation expense for the part of the year in which the company owned the asset. So it says that we have two um, purchases that were made. Um, we're going to do the January 4th one first which is buying a display case that cost $4,040. Um, it has an estimated salvage value of $200 and an estimated useful life of eight years. So um, let's go down to the... Um, I'm actually going to plug that back in up there. Um, let's go down to the depreciation record and... This is for our display case, so we are going to put our depreciation method in as straight line. And then we're just going to plug in the information that we know, which is $4,040 was the original cost. Um, estimated salvage value is $200. We think we're going to use it for eight years, and we purchase this on January 4th of the current year. So even though it isn't on January 1 exactly, um, it's closer to January 1st than it is to February 1st, so we're going to count January as um, a month we're going to record depreciation. And that is the beginning of their fiscal year, so we don't have to do any partial months for this one. So the first thing that we need to um, plug in here is our beginning book value. Our beginning book value is our how much we paid for it to start with, which was $4,040. Then we need to figure out our annual depreciation. Remember that with straight line, our annual depreciation is going to be the same for every single um, year. So remembering how to figure out our annual depreciation, we need to take our original cost, which is 4040, and subtract out our salvage value of 200 which means that we have a total uh, a, uh, depreciation expense for all of the useful life of $3,840. We then take that divided by eight to get our annual depreciation, and we should end up with annual depreciation each year of $480. So I'm gonna plug that in here. And now remember that accumulated depreciation means total. And we have an accumulated depreciation this year of 480, since it's the first year that it's been in existence. Then, in order to find our ending book value, we take beginning minus accumulated depreciation, and we end up with a value of $3,560. And then we repeat the process over for the number of useful life. So, our ending book value becomes our beginning book value in 22. So, we take 3560. Remember that annual depreciation change stays the same at 480. And now for accumulated depreciation, last year we had 480. This year we had 480. So when we add those two together, we get 960. Now with this one, depending upon how you want to calculate ending book value is completely up to you. If you want to just take your beginning book value and subtract out this year's annual depreciation, you can do that. Or you can take your original cost of 4,040 and subtract out your accumulated depreciation up to this point and get your ending book value. Both methods will give you the same amount. It's just whichever one you want to use. So the correct total should be $33,080. And then that becomes our beginning book value again. And we repeat the process, 480. Accumulated depreciation goes up to 1440, and our ending book value should be 2600. 
annual depreciation of 480. Our accumulated goes up to 1920. And our ending book value goes down to 2120. And now we're into 2015. 480 stays the same. Accumulated depreciation up to 2400. And ending book value down to 1640. Appreciation stays the same. Accumulated goes up to $2,880. And ending book value goes down to $1,160. Accumulated goes to $3,360. Down to $680. And now we're in our last year of useful life. For our display case, accumulated depreciation goes up to 38.40, and ending book value goes down to 200. Now, a couple of things I want to show you here. If you remember when we first calculated our depreciation expense for all of the useful life of this display case, it was 3,840. So your accumulated depreciation at the end of the useful life should equal that amount. Same thing where your ending book value should equal your salvage value. If it does not, somewhere you have made an error. So this is the um, depreciation expense for our display case. Let's go ahead and look at the one for our workstation. So if you remember here, we bought the workstation on September 20th for $4,800. No um, salvage value and an estimated useful life of five years. So let's go down and start filling in our information. Again, we have um, straight line. Oops. Just having a hard time here. There we go. Straight line. Our original cost was 4800 Estimated salvage value is zero. Estimated useful life is five years. And our date bought was September 20th. So this one is going to be a little different because we purchased this workstation in the beginning, or not at the beginning of the year. We bought it in the middle of the year. So let's plug in our beginning book value first, which is 4800 and then let's start figuring out how much annual depreciation did we have for that first year. Well, let's figure out, I'm going to pull this up first, um, just so we can kind of see. So we have our $4,800 was our beginning, um, what we bought it for. It had no salvage value. So that means that we're going to expense the total $4,800. It said that we had a useful life of five years. So when we do that and take 4,800 and divide by five, we get an annual depreciation expense of 960. But we need to break that down even further to monthly depreciation. So we take our total annual and divide it in by 12, and we're going to get monthly depreciation of $80. Okay, so those are, that's where those numbers are coming from in case you're like, I don't know where you're getting those. Okay, so let's go back to Applia here. And remember that September 20th is when we bought it. So that's actually closer to October than it is to September 1st. So we're going to count October, November, and December, or three months of depreciation expense for this workstation. So we take our monthly that we just found, that $80, and multiply it by three, and we get annual depreciation for the first year of $240. So that's our accumulated so far because we've only done it for one year. So we take $4,800 minus $240, and we end up with $4,560. So that becomes our beginning book value. And now we can go back to because this 22 is going to be a full year. 
So we can actually go back and use our 960, our original annual uh, depreciation expense, and plug that in here. So we put in 960, and then we take 960 plus 240 to get our accumulated depreciation of 1200. And then we need to find our ending book value. So we, you, like I said, you can either do the 4,560 and subtract out this year's depreciation, or you can take your total original cost and subtract out your uh, accumulated depreciation, whichever one makes more sense to you. You should end up with an ending book value of 3,600. Okay, annual depreciation is 960. We go to 2160 for accumulated depreciation, and we have an ending book value of 2640. And then we continue into our fourth year. Accumulated depreciation goes up to 3120, and then 16, oops, 1680 for our ending book value. One more full year here of 960. So remember that your straight line will always have the same amount. The only reason the first and the last year are gonna be different is because they're partial years. We go up to $4,080 and down to 720. And now we need to do a partial. So this year, um, if you want to think of it, our original um, first year, we had three months. So that means that there has to be nine months remaining. So we take nine months times our monthly depreciation of 80, and you should get $720 for accumulated depreciation of 4,800, and our ending book value should be zero. So again, remember that we had no estimated salvage value, so we should end up with zero, and our total amount being expensed was the full 4,800. So those are two um, accumulated depreciation reports for our two assets. You can go ahead and go over to 19.2 um, work together and, or excuse me, 19.2 on your own and complete that one.